image editing, logo designing, social media content creation, and now video making have become a must if you want to promote your business online. And if you have no budget and limited experience, it can be a daunting task, but it doesn't have to be. To find out how to do all of these things easily without any experience and for free using online graphic software and resources, you're gonna want to watch this. Hi everyone, I'm Luke Duran, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk. I'm here to help you make the most of your business online. So if you want to join the community, just subscribe and click on the bell button so you don't miss a thing. Today, I'm going to go through a list of free online graphic software and resources every business can use to produce professional digital content for multiple platforms without spending a dime. These applications are all available directly from your browser, so you don't even need to download anything on your computer. Most of these are extremely simple to use and very intuitive, so even if you have no prior digital skills, you'll be just fine. I have put the links to all the tools in the description below for easy access. Without further ado, let's get started with our first tool. Color Scheme Generator. According to psychologists, color impression is a very important factor in the consumer decision process. More of a science rather than a hunch, choosing the right colors to design a website or create an online banner can be tricky for the untrained eye. The question is, how do you find the right color combination? Head over to coolers.co. With coolers.co, you can create the perfect coordinated color palette, leaving no room to chance. To get started, just click on the Start Generator button, which will randomly create a perfectly coordinated color palette for you. To display more color palettes, just press the space bar on your keyboard. If you like a color from a specific palette, you can click on the lock icon and press the space bar so only the best matching colors with this one will be displayed. You can continue locking other colors to refine your color palette. If you want to start with a specific color of your choice, you can use the color inspector and continue toggling through the options. You can also create color palette directly from an image. Just click on the camera icon and import your image. A color palette will be created automatically. You can pick specific tones from the picture if you want to generate other options. Do you feel like your palette needs a little bit more depth or warmth? Adjust the lighting and contrast using the sun icon from the toolbar. If you're happy with the results, you can export it or copy the URL. Alternatively, you can save it to your account. You'll need to create one. It's free. You can quickly access your palettes by clicking on the hamburger menu. I use this tool whenever I need to design a website, a banner, or any other visuals for my clients. I can name my palettes, which I can easily refer back to whenever I need it. Next up, free images. I often need high quality images I can use for my videos, my clients' blog posts, or my social media channels. That's why I have my go-to website where I can find high resolution images for free which are covered by the Creative Commons Zero license, meaning that all photos can be used for free for commercial and non-commercial purposes. Giving credit to the photographer is not required, but appreciated. You can edit and adapt the photos as you like. There are plenty of sites out there, but here are my three favorite ones. Pixabay.com. This is probably the one site where I source most of my free images. More than images, Pixabay also offers the ability to download illustrations, vectors, and even videos and free music. Just do a search and scroll through the many options available. Once you've found a picture you like, just click on it and click on the free download option. Select the picture size you need, then click on the download button. Your picture will start downloading automatically. No need to create an account or register for anything. You can download as many of these as you like. You can filter the results by size, picture orientation, category, and color. I personally also use their video search a lot too, which although is not as rich as the photo inventory, is still fantastic considering it's free. The other resource I use for free images, which is remarkably like Pixabay, is pexels.com. You will often find the same images in pexels.com that you found on pixabay.com. Filters are pretty much the same. The slight difference here is that you get an infinite scroll down, which is good, so you don't have to keep clicking on the next page. A video search option is also available. Unsplash.com is my third go-to website for high-quality free images. You can access categories directly from the main homepage. I particularly like the current event and COVID-19 option. Or alternatively, you can just search for a specific keyword. Just like the other two, once you've found a suitable picture, just click on it and download it. So you've got your images, time to edit them with a free image editor. 
head over to Pixlr.com. Pixlr.com is probably the easiest and most intuitive free photo editor you will come across. To edit your images, you can choose from two types of editors within Pixlr. One is called Advanced Pixlr or Pixlr E, and the other one is called Playful Pixlr for quick editing options. The main difference between the two is the number of tools available in Pixlr E. If you've done photo editing before, you might want to choose the advanced option, but for the sake of this tutorial, let's go ahead with the easiest option. By default, your menu will be set to history. Since you have not created anything yet, this will be empty. Below the history option, you can create a new project where you can choose a predefined format such as Instagram story, Facebook profile or others, or you can specify your own custom dimensions. You can also start a new project from scratch using a stock photo available directly from Pixlr or load an image directly from a specific web address. But what we really want to do here is edit our photo which we downloaded from one of our free photo resource websites. To do this, just click on the open image option and load your image. Once loaded, you can start editing it using the toolbox on the left hand side. You can resize your image, crop it, remove some colors, adjust the vibrance, contrast, color, etc. Add filters, grow, shrink and push parts of the image. Draw doodles, add text and overlay other images. The sky is the limit. Your toolbox will allow you to do so much, I can't cover it all in this quick tutorial. Despite being the basic version, there are tons of options available for you to play with and it should be more than enough for what you need. Once you've finished editing your image, just click on save and choose the format you want your pictures to be saved in. You can specify the quality of the images by either selecting high, medium or low. Remember, the higher the quality, the heavier it will be and the longer it will take for the image to load on the web, which could impact your SEO and user experience overall. To check how heavy your picture is likely to be, just toggle through the options and check the file size. You can also use the slider to refine the file size further. Don't go too low, otherwise your picture will end up looking very grainy. Once you're done, just click on the download button and your image will download automatically in your download folder. Pixlr is a great photo editor which you could use to create your social media graphics too, but there is a much better online software to do that. So let's have a look at it. Social media graphics. Canva.com is my favorite online tool when it comes to creating free online social media graphics not only because it has tons of predefined awesome templates, but also because it's so easy to use. To start with Canva, you'll need to create an account, which you can do quickly via a Google account, a Facebook account, or an email address. As soon as you've logged in, you can jump straight into creating content for your favorite social media platforms. Just search for the platform of your choice, then watch the multiple options available appearing within the drop-down menu. All templates have been designed to the correct sizes, so you don't even have to worry about them. This is the Facebook example, but all other platforms are covered too, such as Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Pinterest, Snapchat, etc., which makes it a one-stop shop if you're publishing on multiple platforms. Canva is not exclusive to social media designs. You can do a lot more with it. Just search for whatever you're after. I'm pretty sure they've got it covered. And if not, you can set your own dimensions for whatever you are trying to create. Let's create a dummy Facebook post, for instance. Once you've selected a design type, you can either choose a template from a random selection or start with a blank Canva. Let's go with a blank Canva so you can see how powerful this tool really is. Once you've selected an option, you will be taken to a workspace where you can start creating your design. To start creating your design, use the various digital assets available from the left-hand side menu by dragging and dropping them onto the Canva. Make the most of the search tool to narrow down the result options available for each type of asset. You can choose from predefined templates, photos, elements, text, and even videos and music. And as if this wasn't enough, you can also load your own images. You can modify each element by clicking on them and use the toolbar available above your workspace to carry out modifications such as color, text size, layer position, transparency and more. Not all digital assets are free but there is so much free choice in there that there is enough to create stunning content without having to pay for anything. Once you're done creating your design, click on the drop down on the top right hand side of your screen so you can publish it directly to your social media channel or download it on your computer. It's up to you. 
More than a tool, Canva makes creating content for social media painless and a lot of fun. Talking of fun, let's have a look at our next free tool, which is equally great if you're into video creation. Video editing. If you're a video aficionado, you're going to love Capwing. The free version has no watermark. You can upload up to 250 megabyte file, publish video up to seven minutes long, three hours of video per month, edit and store content up to seven days old, and you will be given access to all the tools as well. But what I feel is truly great about Capwing is how easy it is to use. This is yet another tool that doesn't need to be installed on your computer and also works on your phone. If you've done some video editing in the past, you know how complicated it can be, but Capwing have made video editing a real breeze. To start with, I recommend you create a free account by clicking on the Create a Workspace link. Just like Canva, you can either use a Google or Facebook account. Once logged in, click on the new project option. This will open a pop-up where you can choose between three different options. Opening the full studio experience, using a specific tool, or choose a template. Let's choose the full studio experience. From there, you can either start with a blank Canva or upload your own video. Let's choose the blank Canva option. By default, the video ratio will be one to one, but you can change this to fit all popular video ratio out there by clicking the right box. Alternatively, you can also pick a custom size from where you can select some of the most popular dimensions. To bring your video onto your workspace, just click on the upload button and fetch a video from your computer. If you want to add some padding to your project, just use the expand padding option. You can choose from top, bottom, left or right. A background color option is also available. Right above the workspace, there is a menu from which you can choose to add some text directly onto the video, overlay some images or even emojis. You can also add subtitles, shapes and audio tracks. There are plenty of options for you to choose from. To access your video timeline, just click on the timeline option. You'll be able to see all the components of your video on their own layer, where you will be able to specify when they should appear. Place each element where you want them to start and then click done. To modify the video itself, just select it and use the right hand side panel option to either trim it, adjust the color, opacity, brightness, contrast, etc. And crop it to a more suitable format where you can choose from predefined template to suit your social media platforms. You can also speed up or slow down the video using the speed option. Even if you've never done any video editing before, you will be able to use this. Once you've finished editing your video, just click on the publish button on the right hand side window and wait for your content to be processed. After a few seconds, your content will be ready to download, share or embed without any watermark. Pretty cool, right? Last thing about Capwing, remember when we initially created a new project, we were given three options. From there, you can choose to use specific tools or templates. I won't cover these in this video and will let you play with these options, but I particularly liked the meme generator, which I feel will be really useful for your social media posts. Let's finish this video off with our final free tool, Logo Maker. If you're just starting out and you need a logo, head over to Hatchful. Just as they claim on their homepage with this tool, you can literally create simple logos in seconds. Just click on the start button and select the type of industry your business is in. Then click next. Choose a virtual style you think will be suitable to your brand. You can choose up to three styles. Then click next. Enter your business name and slogan if you have one. Then click next. Then select the options where the logo will be used. If you see something you like, just click on it as you will be able to make further modification. Go through the various options to change the font style, color or different layouts. Once you're happy with your choice, just click on next, then download logo. Add the email address where you want the logos to be sent. Check your email. It might take a few minutes where you will be able to download your logo set specifically designed for your website and social media profiles. There are many other free resources and software available on the web, but these are the ones I feel will be the most helpful for your business, especially if you have little to no budget and they are also a lot of fun to use. So start playing with them today. As always, if you have any questions or comment, post them below and I'll do my best to answer them. Until next time, happy marketing.